All right, let's take a look at number seven, BoogieBot. Double click to open that in Xcode. If you're presented with this dialog, all it wants to make sure you've downloaded it, you know that you've downloaded it. So, yep, open. All right, let's check this out. So we're going to get to know BoogieBot. And based on everything we know already, we're going to uh, use some functions to make this BoogieBot dance. All right, let's check out the next screen. So this is referring to another feature of a playground called a live view. So there's some special features that we can use. Um, so here, what it says, the following line sets up BoogieBot and makes it dance. This is the demo mode. So the question is, we don't see the live view. So notice up here on the top says the assistant editor. So go ahead and click that. And that's going to present. And hey, check it out. There it is, BoogieBot. I'm going to go ahead and close this results sidebar because we don't need to use it. Very good. Awesome. Isn't that cool? All right, let's go to the next one. So, BoogieBot has a bunch of moves that it can perform. These are the methods, the functions that you can call to make it do certain things. Uh, these are pretty straightforward, but then it says fabulize and defabulize. Well, the first one causes it to change colors, and the second one returns it back to gray. So, you can, these are other commands here. So, notice this is the code that gets run. And we can see this again uh, by clicking editor and say execute playground. And then notice how it changes colors, arm up right up left leg, and then all the way back down. So he jumps and it goes pretty quick. So in this one, let's go ahead and change up some of these commands. I want to copy this. I want to press command C to copy. And then I'm going to add it up here at the top. Now notice when you make changes in the code, it restarts the animation. So that's what happens there. Uh, what happens if you fabulize or defabulize in the middle? All right, let's let's uh, let's fabulize a little bit more. I'm going to copy, press Command C, and then I'm going to enter this here in here, and then one more time. And then notice how it'll start over. Jump in a couple times, jump in a couple times. Awesome. Very cool. Let's take a look at the next one. All right. Now, this is what we refer to as we use a set of APIs or application programming interface. These are functions that are provided for us and that we use within our application. So we're using the BoogieBot API. This is software that's been written uh, by someone else, and we're going to use it. These are all of the functions within the BoogieBot API. You start the bot, then you have all the various movements, and then you can change the colors. So let's go ahead and make our own routine. So it says if you if you run it one by one, you can you can create you know simple things, but if you want to repeat it, you put moves together. So for example, notice here it says you create routines and code by building functions like this. So here we're saying do the disco, which says left arm up, shake it right, left arm down, shake it center. So uh, you can, here's the functions that are being called. Start bot, fabulize, do the disco, do the disco, do the disco. Okay, now I want to pause for a second. Notice here that the, the routine isn't started. Uh, it's supposed to play. Notice these functions here. It's supposed to play. There's nothing rendering. Uh, I can go down here. I can click stop. And then I can press play to run the routines. See if it'll catch up to itself. Sometimes I've noticed with playgrounds that sometimes they'll get stuck. 
and and they won't register like if I let me go ahead and stop it maybe I can go up here choose editor execute playground and this happens sometimes I don't know why but what I find the best thing to do is just to go ahead and quit Xcode and then let's just open it up again and when we open this up again it'll go back to the last page we were at and let's see if it uh, starts to render it here again something's happening there we go awesome so here is this here's the the functions here so it started it fabulized and then it did the disco three times so functions are a way that we group things together it's reusable and it just makes it easier to group things that are similar that you want to happen and repeat over and over so let's change this it says change the disco function into a mirror image so anything done left becomes right and anything right becomes left Imagine how much work it would have been if you had typed out the same moves three times. So, if we change this function, let's change this to right arm up, delete the last two, and we say right arm up, delete those extra parentheses, and we can even change this shake it left all right awesome very good let's go next it says let's personalize this okay so the boogie bot has an API that allows you to personalize the moves you've made so you can give it a title you can, so you can say set bot title and then you can say set bot subtitle so that's what we're seeing right now awesome okay let's set our own title uh, let's call it um, boogie woogie by Ibrant. let's do it let's add let's change this let's go uh, jump up and jump down. <laughs> We're gonna make this our own. Check it out. Sweet boogie woogie. All right, very good. Let's check it out now. Let's see how we can share. So we have one other feature. It says besides viewing your boogie bot in the assistant, you can save it as an animated GIF or GIF or whatever you want to call this. I'm gonna call it a GIF because that's how I grew up saying it. Somebody might challenge you and say, no, it's a, it's a soft G. And you can just give them a soft G in return. All right. Start bot, start recording, and then we add the routine. So notice here we are. Uh, here's the routine. We've got all the different dance moves. All right. So if I actually click this, I can go ahead and click Save. And then it prompt brings up a prompt and I can go ahead and save it to my desktop. Awesome. Saved file. Okay. Now, a lot of this, we talk about creating dance routines and, and different things. What we're doing is we're developing an algorithm. So an algorithm is where we have a series of steps. And it can be any sort of uh, set of steps. But what it is, it says defining algorithms is a large part of programming. There are complex mathematical algorithms that do things like compress video, so it can be sent efficiently over the Internet. There are algorithms that don't involve mathematics at all, like an algorithm to check if an app user has any messages, present a notification if they do. And, of course, algorithms for getting software robots to dance. Pretty straightforward. But an algorithm is another name you're going to hear referred to in programming when you talk about a series of steps that create an action or that create uh, that, that process a result or perform something um, within a self-contained function. It's somewhat interchangeable. 
So we've talked about APIs, which is a set of functions provided by another developer to help you work. You're going to find that there are a lot of APIs out there. There are a lot of uh, source code that you can use within your app to help you do things that someone else has already written. And all you have to do is call those functions in your app in order to take advantage of it. And that's what we did today with the boogie bot. So now if we take a look at the next few pages, let's just review the next page here. You can create your own routines. So let's go ahead and create a new one. So let's start. First of all, fabulize is, is where it's at. Got to get some color in there. And then let's jump up and then jump down. Remember when I'm typing what I'm doing, remember the autocomplete. As I'm typing, I see the word that I want. So for example, so you jumped up, jumped down. Now I want to shake it left. I press tab and then it completes it to there. And then I choose the first letter of whichever one. And so I want to shake it right. And I press tab again and it completes it. So I'm always pressing tab quite often. So that allows you to, to enter code pretty quickly, especially when you're dealing with an API like this. All right, shake it right. I might as well shake it left. Then let's uh, fabulize again and then defabulize. Okay. And uh, let's remember to sign our work. So I want to say set bot title. I want to call this cool in the game. Okay. See if we can get this to run. And it seems like it's still having, it's having a problem. There's something going on. It's, it's got some warnings, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, it should save this. So I'm going to go ahead and quit Xcode and then open this back up. And it will open to where we were and yep, there it is. It saved it. Okay. Let's see if this will run. Here we go. Awesome. <laughs> I got stuck shaking it left. Awesome. Let's shake it center. Okay. Let's try that again. Awesome. There you go. The rest of these pages are just additional workshop areas where you can create different routines. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Check out the next video and be sure to subscribe.